Hey everyone, it's Richard Payne here from Halifax Homes and Lifestyles at EXP Realty and we are in the sunshine, but it is definitely winter. The question, as always, because it's that time of the month, is what is our little real estate market doing this month? And who's hot, who's not, etc, etc. So let's find out. Hey everyone, so the big question is have we continued and kind of not to change the way that everything's been going since what am I looking at March last year yes it's still a seller's market we're at 3.7 months of inventory in January December was 3.9 so we've improved just a little bit there uh, 289 homes sold 1065 active which is more or less the same as December um, so we haven't kind of changed too much on the inventory but the key thing that did change from December into this month was 64% sales to new listings ratio, which means six houses sold, but 10 were actually listed. So it's surprising when you look at the actual inventory days on market, as well as the uh, months of inventory, that it actually went from 3.9 down to 3.7. So probably we had a little bit of expired that dropped off the market there as well, which tells you a little bit about, you know, obviously listing agreements and all that kind of stuff. Um, now, when we look at the average price, this is the big thing, $356,000 average price point in January. That is up 5% on last month, up 10.7% on a 12-month rolling number. So if we go back and average out the last 12 months, that's what we're talking about. We're up 10.7%. Um, list to sell ratio was 98%, 97.7%. It doesn't usually change that much. It would take something like in the number of homes sold, it would take quite a lot to actually increase that to be uh, closer to like, you know, the 100%. But one thing we do know, uh, we've been in it a couple of times so far already in January, is the world of multiple offers. It's still going strong. Houses are still going for over asking price. A colleague of mine, we were just chatting about the place in Dartmouth, and that went substantially over asking price. I think the average, I think the price was around about $280,000, so not like, you know, a huge home with a huge price tag to start off with. Uh, but yeah, it went way over. So it'll be interesting to see how that kind of uh, factors into the February market and we'll see what's going on there. But let's have a little look at some of the markets. So number one market is actually Bedford this time. 32 homes sold, 3.2 months uh, of inventory on the market, $519,000 uh, as an average price. So that is absolutely coming into play with a lot of the new parks of Bedford West coming onto the market uh, to get up to that kind of high price point because Bedford is a traditional community and yes, you've got the new stuff, but yes, you've got the old stuff. So when we come up at a $520,000 average price point, there's definitely a lot of stuff going in parks of Bedford West there. Uh, number two is Timberley, St. Margaret's Bay, Upper Tan Talon area. 30 homes sold there, 4.7 months of inventory, 82 days on market, $311,000 average price point. So come down quite a bit because that's usually a 350, 360 average price point. So we're down at 311 there. So some of the kind of smaller properties must have sold to affect that. And then interestingly, number three, Spryfield has cropped up into the top three. 29 homes sold, three and a half months of inventory, but 29 homes sold, and I looked into this, 25 of those homes were brand new homes sold. So that puts us as Governor's Brook as well as Long Lake at the end of uh, the Northwest Arm, a uh, new development community there. Not a huge development, but definitely some houses there. Now Long Lake, the average price point there is around 450. Governor's Brook is about 315. So their average price point was $330,000. Uh, which for a Spryfield market, with the new builds, definitely. A lot of the kind of other style of properties, you know, 330 as an average is actually pretty high for that area. So when you look at everything and we kind of stack this up and say, okay, you know, how does that compare to the traditional markets? If we look at Peninsula Halifax, it's doing good, but interestingly, South market so the south part of Halifax is actually really starting to slow down they've got over eight months of inventory right now whereas the central the north and the west those are the markets that are still performing well with uh, quickly looking at this we've got 2.3 months of inventory in the west um, in the north we have one month of inventory so they're actually keeping that whole market going but the south peninsula is definitely slowing down so that's definitely something to watch for the future because again Similarly, in the fact that they have a much higher price point as well. So that could be an idea as well, you know, where people are looking for a little bit more value and they're willing to come away from the South End address, the South End prestige, 
necessarily to actually get some better value. So that's what's going on in the marketplace. If you have any questions, um, big thing here is still a seller's market. So who you work with, the marketing strategy you put out and everything about what you're trying to do to get your house sold in the right price and the right amount of time, absolutely your marketing and your message is going to matter a lot because you want the most buyers coming and we know we're still seeing multiple offers. So the market's still gonna continue like this. I can't see it changing for the rest of the year. I think maybe 2021, we're gonna see some uh, interesting developments coming on this board there that are gonna slow that market down a little bit. But we know there's a lot of people coming in. We know there's not a lot of houses that can fill up the demand because we've got 3.7 months of inventory, which is low. And we know that our vacancy rate is at historical low levels. So you put all that together and you start bringing people in, as we said in one of the previous videos, you end up where we are today with a really good real estate market. Uh, we've got some tips for buyers in a seller's market as well, so watch out for that video coming soon as well. But in the meantime, don't forget to subscribe. You know, we're pushing out a lot more video content and we're trying to get the best information on all the neighborhoods, all the best strategies to help you win in a seller's market.